cold case mystery for you now. A seven-year-old child goes to the park to play and disappears. Two days later, her body is found in the woods. She was killed, and no one has been caught. Now the case, after 30 years, is getting another look on Investigation Discovery series Breaking Homicide. The child's mother is here. We'll speak to her in a moment, along with two people who have re-examined this case. And wait till you hear what they found in a moment. But first, watch this. Seven-year-old Michelle Norris from Central Falls, Rhode Island, was described as intelligent, shy, and a true mama's girl. On May 28, 1988, Michelle, her brothers, and cousins went to a nearby park to play. Michelle went missing. Before her disappearance, I was at my mom's house um, because I was sick. And Michelle came in the house, and she goes, Mom, can I uh, get you some Tylenol? And, and I'm saying, no, Mom's all set. And she says, okay. And she gave me a kiss, and she said, I love you, Mom. And that was the last time I saw my daughter. Two days after Michelle vanished, her bruised body was discovered in a desolate, wooded area, less than a half mile from the park where she disappeared. There were reports that her clothes were folded next to her, and she had been sexually assaulted, beaten, and strangled. I always look forward to her growing up and doing mother-daughter things with me. Now, 30 years later, working with Investigation Discovery, former police sergeant Derek Lavasser and forensic psychologist Chris Mahandi are re-examining this case, piece by piece, including visiting the place where Michelle's body was found. I'm just struck by what a terrifying spot this would be for a seven-year-old to come into. There's no way she would come here by herself. This is a very isolated place. And speaking to witnesses. I was the oldest there when we were all playing together. We were just doing what we just always did, playing back here. My grandmother's house is two doors down. She had an eye on us. Show um, us, show us. Um, right through here, oh my gosh. you see the, the, two, the blue house, yeah. So she could watch you guys out here playing. That was the point. Lavasser and Mahandi are hoping that their investigation can help solve what's been called one of Rhode Island's great cold case murders. Please do some, please. I promise you we're going to. We're going to turn. I'm sorry. Mm. Please welcome Michelle's mom, Julia Tager Norris along with the hosts of Investigation Discovery's Breaking Homicide, Derek Lavasser, who's a former Rhode Island police sergeant, and Chris Mahandi, a police and forensic psychologist. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Thanks, Julia, let me start with you. Okay. I know it's been 30 years, but we're so sorry for your loss. Thank you. And your willingness to talk about this on camera with these guys yes. um, may have proven very fruitful, which we'll get to in a moment. Sure. Um, all this time, the case has been unsolved. What did the police tell you in, in, in the, in, with respect to their investigation efforts? They're just um, going with every lead. They're going with every lead possible. Every time they get a lead, they go for it. Um, and did you ever have any suspicions over these 30 years about who did it? Um, I really haven't. I just, you know, pretty much uh, wanted to know who it is, but I just have no idea. No. No. Derek, you have an odd connection to this case. Can you explain what it is? Yeah, well, I, I actually was a police officer in Central Falls. But even before that, the day that Michelle went missing, her brothers went out looking for Michelle. And uh, they went over a street from where it had happened and asked this woman who was pushing her son on a swing um, if, they had, if we had seen anything. And that was my mother and I was the boy on the swing. So I've been connected with it since the beginning. It's very clear in this piece that it's personal for you. And very you were determined... So to make progress where the police department had not, uh, notwithstanding some, some pretty compelling clues in this. Chris, let me ask you about the interview you did, two compelling interviews. You're a psychologist, uh, a woman and her daughter, both of whom had strong suspicions about the woman's ex-husband and the daughter's stepfather. Right. Yeah, it was a very intense um, set of interviews that we did. Um, I thought that it was important to talk to them because... Um, you know, they lived a very close distance uh, away from uh, Michelle and her mom. And uh, it was, it was, those were remarkable interviews. So this woman that, who's now grown um, was Michelle's best friend. She was. That, and this proved to be critical, this discussion. And this woman's mother um, was, is your age. 
And she was. She is. You, you yes. two had the two little girls who are who are good friends, and you guys spend a lot of time talking to right. them. And we'll we'll tell you about that after the break, and we're going to show you the moment that Derek confronts the man who may have killed Michelle Norris. And we're back now with Michelle Norris's mom, Julia Tager Norris, along with Derek Lavasser and Chris Mahandi. We want to play a moment from the new documentary, Breaking Homicide, Little Girl Lost, that reexamines the unsolved murder of seven-year-old Michelle Norris. And in this clip, Derek, uh, he confronts a, a man that police have told us is a person of interest in this case. We have to tell you, Derek, he, you were initially approached this guy under false pretenses. You weren't like, hey, I'm here investigating you. You said, I'm interested in buying a vehicle. Uh, you didn't I made, immediately identify yourself as a journalist examining the case. But here's what happened when they spoke. I was in Florida. You were in Florida. I was working for, uh, I was coming back from Maryland or New Jersey, and I get a call that one of the kids in the neighborhood was missing. I ask you one more time, and that's all I got. You look me in the eye right now, you tell me you had nothing to do with Michelle Norris's disappearance or her death. Well, no, because I, why would I, why is this coming back to me? If I and was guilty, wouldn't I be in jail, jail? I mean, you tell me, because that... That's classic deception technique. Where, if you ask me if I murdered somebody, I say, absolutely not. I don't say, why, why wouldn't I be in jail if I did it? I mean, that's my armchair psychology. You're the actual psychologist. There was nothing about um, what we looked into that disconfirmed, you know, our need to look at the people that we looked at in this case. Mm -hmm. And that guy's name, Derek, tell us who, who that is and why you zeroed in on him. Uh, I won't say his name, You can. it's it's in the show, but I, I will say that he was the stepfather of Michelle Norris's best friend. And he lived within blocks of where Michelle went, dis uh, disappeared from. And he has, he's, he's a convicted felon, right? That is true. He pleaded guilty to molesting his own stepdaughter. That's correct. Who was Michelle's best friend. Yes. Right. And those, that's the grown woman who you guys interviewed along with her mother, who used to be married to that man. Right. Both of whom detail what they say was abuse by this man who has been free for all this time. So how do you see the case now? And how do you feel about what these two guys have done? I just see that they're doing their job. And they are, you know, go-getters. I, I really have to say um, they know what they're doing. Do you guys... I mean, this is going to air on Sunday night. Do you believe we're going to see an arrest in this case? Well, that's the hope. Whenever we approach any investigation, the, the goal is to solve it. I don't care how old it is. There's always an opportunity. There's no statute of limitations on murder. So we're going to do anything we can to, to give closure to her family and, and as well as anybody else. We have five other cases we did, and that's the main objective. But at minimum, we want to make this about Michelle Norris and make sure that everyone knows who she was because she was a great lawyer. She was a great lawyer. You tell the story in a very compelling way. You walk us through methodically how you piece the evidence together, and we watch it and see it ourselves and get to make up our own minds. But I have to say, you did it with a lot of empathy. And obviously, Derek, you have true love for the family and this community. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With us. All the best. <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch this yourself. It's called Breaking Homicide, Little Girl Lost, and it premieres on Sunday, April 15th, this, April, this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Check it out. And, of course, if you have any information regarding Michelle's case, please contact the Central Falls Police at 401-727-7411. We'll put that on our website, today.com slash Megan Today as well. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.